Hello everyone, so today I had a package in the mail from a website called cuteandcutefactory.com They asked me to do a review for the website and sent me a package with some Korean brand beauty products They sent me a few um, makeup as well as skincare products and I am really really happy with their service so on their website you if you do sign up you get a order history where you can see everything you bought you can see the status of your order if it's been shipped they give you a tracking number it's a really good service as well as you can be sure that these are genuine products from Korea because they do ship from Seoul Korea especially with buying makeup online it's a big issue that many Korean brands have lots of fakes especially on eBay you have to be really careful because you don't want to put something on your face that hasn't been tested properly and I am really happy that they contacted me they have lots of different brands on that website very very um, famous brands like Innisfree, Peripera and things like that so I'll show you the items they sent to me I'll also kind of swatch them, show you what they look like if you want a follow up after using them for a while I'll, I'll be happy to do that the link will be down in the description box you should really check out that website if you want to um, buy Korean brand products because they ship internationally their shipping service is fast it's not too expensive at all I think their prices are really great and like I said, you can be sure that it's genuine and that's really important. So the first item that was in this package is this Polka Pink Pudding Lip Tint. This is made by the company Ari Tom. I will put all the products down in the description box so if you want to get them for yourself you know what to look for. And um, I'm sorry if I mispronounce any names but... Uh, this lip tint is uh, a very nice bright pink so this is what it looks like as a lip tint it will stain your lips and it smells extremely sweet if I would have to compare it to another Korean brand product I have this um, jelly sweets lip balm made by Etude House it really smells the same it's a very sweet and very nice fruity fragrance and if you leave this on your skin for a second and then I'll try to show you so I just wiped it off a little bit and you can still see how my skin is like stained pinkish I think this color is really nice and sweet I think you can do a very nice gradient effect on your lips with that and yeah so that was the first one Next, made by the same company, is this water sliding tint in Peach Muse. Um, it opens like this. It's, if you can hear this, it has like a mechanical um, screw way to go up. And if I swatch this right here, it just basically melts on my skin it gives a very nice shine so this is more like almost like a gloss bar type of product it shows up more orangey on camera than it is in real life but um, it seems very moisturizing I really like this so that's the water sliding tint Next, they sent to me this Paris Ink from Peri Para. This is a BB cream, or at least something like that. It's the shade Pure Ivory. And uh, Peri Para is a very nice brand. I really like their products. So, this is what the bottle looks like. And. Um, I'll put this on the back of my hand. I hope you can see. This is a fairly liquidy 
kind of BB. I would compare this more to a usual foundation kind of thing. And uh, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but this is a very, very light tone. So I would say this is almost too light for my skin tone. But as we know, BB creams, they do oxidize and kind of match up to your skin tone, which is really light. Uh, nice, so I hope I may be able to use this, especially since it's winter and I'm pretty pale. Um, so I let this set a little bit on my skin and it is very translucent. So if you are looking for a full coverage BB cream foundation type, I think this is not really the item for you. But the smell is really amazing. It smells kind of like a a baby cream, baby powdery kind of smell. It is pretty strong, I have to admit the smell, but I personally like it a lot. I'm just not sure if I can use the shade. Um, I hope so, that I can get away with using something so light in the winter. Definitely not for me in the summer, but um, it's a very, very nice BB cream, even though it doesn't feel like a BB cream, I'd say. So the last makeup item they sent to me is this Innisfree eyeshadow. Innisfree has lots of very pretty shades. And this is a rather glittery, kind of more chunky, almost baked looking eyeshadow. And, uh, try to use this. on my hand so the pigmentation is not too crazy but it gives you a very nice sheen and glittery effect it does not show up as nice on camera as it really is in real life and the shade is kind of a brown coppery tone which I think is very very nice for winter too I like to wear warm tones because, you know, it's already cold enough outside. So these were all the makeup items that they sent to me. Next, I'll show you guys the beauty products slash um, skin, skincare products they sent to me. So I got this Clean It Zero from Vanilla Co. And this is a cleaning cream for your skin or your face. It comes with a little spatula as well as a lid to close up the tub once you're done. And this is a seriously really, really big container. It has 100 milliliters in there. Now, sadly, this does not say in English on the packaging how it works, but they do have um, product features and stuff like that in English on their website and the website is in English so if you're not sure you can always read back up what um, kind of product it is and how to use it which is which I think is great because you know I can't read Korean it is still sealed of course um, I'll try to get this lid off oh so this is the product and it is kind of an oil cleanser, I'd say. I have tried these before. It is very smooth. Now, I obviously can't say anything to how well it cleanses your pores yet. But um, if you want to have a follow-up on this, uh, of course, I would love to make that. So let me know in the comments section or leave a like. Next. I got this Innisfree Canola Honey Lip Balm Deep Moisture and if you have seen one of my hauls of these products before you know that I do have kind of a lip problem. I've tried hundreds of lip care products. Some work better, some work less. Um, I have found a couple that you know do okay but I do have to use them constantly. So. This is just a semi-translucent lip care balm and 
it seems to be very moisturizing so you can see that um, it is completely translucent and it doesn't really smell like anything honestly I was hoping it would smell a little bit like honey but um, there's no smell to that again if you want a review or if you want to know if this really helped me or not then you should um, leave me a comment in the comment section and the last item that I got is this Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Blackhead Out Bomb Jeju, sorry for mispronouncing things, is an island that um, is a very you know famous Korean spa slash holiday spot and let me see if I can open it so this is what the tub looks like and it is 30 grams and it is just a clear balm again kind of an oily feeling to it oil cleansers are pretty um, common and pretty popular I feel like with Korean brands I do have a cleansing oil which I really love um, you know when I first saw these oily kind of products and I have oily combination skin so I do have quite a couple of red spots, trouble spots, and blackheads. I was really, really, you know, confused about how is this supposed to help me clean my skin. I have oily skin, I don't want to put more oil on it. But do not, do not think like that. Um, it really does help your skin. It, it, many of them are very amazing. I will try these out and try to let you guys know maybe if you want to how these work. But I can really say you should try a cleansing oil, even if you have oily skin. Um, of course, you have to choose the right one, but do not, you know, put it aside just because you think, oh, it's oil, it's not good for my skin. That's definitely not true. Innisfree, one of the things I love about them is that they put a description in English on to their packaging as well as the ingredients so everyone can read them. So here you see all of the products from this package and yeah, I can really recommend that website. I must say I really love their service, especially the tracking number because if you order overseas from Korea, you do want to check on your package once in a while, make sure it's on its way. And I can just really say that everything was individually wrapped in bubble wrap, nothing broke, everything got here safe. It didn't take long, they shipped out the day after I placed the order. Everything was just great and I can do I can really recommend their website if you want to make sure that you're buying genuine Korean brand products. This is definitely a website to find them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.